Hey guys, it is Arika Misha, and today I just came to do a little quick seafood boil, something quick and easy, ain't all that fancy stuff. So, um, hey, how everybody doing? Hope all is well with you guys. Um, yeah, so today I just wanted to do a little quick seafood boil idea with you guys. Just something quick and easy, like I said. Y'all know I get you in not the kitchen, because I ain't got all day. So, all right, and y'all see I got my little um, Pioneer Woman pan already ready. I have my oven set at 400 degrees, and I'm going to put this in the oven for about maybe 20, 25 minutes. So, all right, so I have some uh, corn on the cob. I have the little, small little nibblers, they call them, nibblers. Um, I got a little six-pack of those. I've got some chopped up lobster meat. Chopped up lobster meat there. Um, now, I've already prepped all the meat. I've prepped everything. Everything you, I'm showing you guys, I've already prepped it uh, the day before. That's just what I like to do. Get everything prepped up for the boil. That way it's easier to just throw it all together in the pan and put it in the oven. Uh, and everything is already seasoned. Um, so, alright. So, the next thing we have here is my boiled eggs. Yeah, just some boiled eggs. So, I've got those. All right, and I got some sausages. Got some nice sausages cut into little cubes there. All right, and I have some jumbo shrimp. I went with the jumbo shrimp this time. They are really big. So, the jumbo raw shrimp. That's what I went with this time. So, now, how I layer it is, in, is important to me because Nothing is cooked, you know, but, you know, we could just throw this in the pan and just get it down real quick. So, all right, my shrimp, I'm going to put on top. I'm going to put my shrimp on top. So, let's go ahead and start with my corn. I'm going to throw my corn in. You guys will see. I mean, the corn's already cooked, so. Get my corn in here. And I'm just going to. Layer my corn around the edges. All right. And if I forget to tell you guys, I'm just gonna melt two sticks of butter and some garlic. I'm gonna melt two sticks of butter and put a little garlic in it. And then I'm gonna pour it over it in case I forget to tell y'all that. That's what it is. It's not a butter mix. It's not all that fancy stuff because I've already got everything seasoned. So I'm just gonna add the butter and garlic on top of it. All right. So we got our corn. Wait, let me make sure you all can see the concoction. All right, so we got our corn on the edges. All right, I'm gonna go ahead, let me get my sausage down. Throw my sausage down in there. Hold on, let me get my, yep, just throw my sausage down in there. smells so good and I season everything seasoning it however you want to season it I did Old Bay because y'all know what I say Old Bay because he a Old Bay he a Old Bay yeah he old but um I did Old Bay New Orleans Cajun onion garlic of course parsley of course uh I did a little chili powder um what else I did uh I forgot what else I did a little salt a little pepper and um let me get these dumped in here so yeah, let's get our sausage all down in there so they can get all cooked up. Oh yeah, this is looking good already. Looking good already. Let me wash my hands real quick. So yeah, I was craving some seafood. I wanted a little seafood boil. And my seafood boils are quick and easy and they are not expensive. The pack of corn was like $2. The pack of sausages, I got those BOGO, buy one, get one. They were like $4. Four dollars some change. Let's just say five dollars. Um, the eggs, we all know eggs cost eggs, um, they ain't cheap, y'all. So I had the um big pack of eggs, 18 pack of eggs. I think they were like eight dollars. But y'all know eggs gonna be I ain't even gonna speak that. But yeah. Um the eggs are um y'all know they're eight dollars, they so expensive. Now the lobster meat, 
one thing I like about this already, um, it's like little baby lobster tails. That's what it is. Um, and Publix had them at $12.99 a pack. I got two packs. I thought that was really good for some lobster, little mini lobster tails. Um, and the jumbo shrimp, uh, I think the jumbo shrimp were like 20 bucks. A little pricey, but you can get the regular shrimp for like $10. You know, you can just get like a regular bag of shrimp for like $10 or $15. So, it's not a, an expensive, um, boil. All right, so we got our corn down. We got the sausage down. Y'all, don't that look good? I love all the colors, especially when that shrimp gets done. It's nice and pink. Okay, so we got the corn in, sausage in. What I want to do next? Oh, I'm going to throw in my eggs. Yeah, I'm going to throw my eggs in now. Yep, just get them eggs in there. That's what we're going to do. Get them eggs in there. Okay, that's looking cute. Okay, okay, y'all, that's looking real cute. Okay, okay, all right, okay. All right, let me move all this other stuff off the table. We're gonna throw our shrimp and lobster meat in. Quick and easy, just throw it all in your pan, y'all. Throw it all in your pan. All right, okay. All right, y'all. Oh, ain't that looking pretty? Let me, you know what? I'm going to zoom y'all in a little bit more so y'all can see. Because y'all seem a little far. Take y'all in. Okay, yeah. So y'all can see. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all can see real good. Okay. So let's do, next thing I'm going to do is the lobster. See, let me show y'all. Let me see if I can show y'all a picture. It's like little mini lobster tails. See how it curls? Just a little mini lobster tail. And I got two bags of them. Uh, I'm gonna spread them. Just gonna spread them over like that. Oh my god, these lobster tails smell so good. Mm mm mm. They all seasoned up. And see, I just throw the butter and garlic. I I cook my seafood balls so many ways. So sometimes I'll just um I'll season the meat and stuff a little bit, and then I make like a little butter sauce. But I was being lazy today. Today I'm being lazy. I'm just going to, everything was already pre-seasoned. So, I'm just going to go ahead and throw my butter and stuff. Ooh, y'all. I got a lot of little, little lobster. Little baby lobster tails. I don't know about baby child. Okay. Alright, okay. This looking good. Alright, alright. I'm going to get my little lobster juices in there. All my stuff I paid for. Yep. All right. Okay. Okay. Looking good. Looking good. Last thing we got to drop across the top is the shrimp. Ooh, y'all. Look how that's looking. Mm, 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 mm. Look how that is looking. Look at how that is looking. All right. Okay. Ooh, we're going to throw them shrimp across the top. All oh, fancy. We got a lot of shrimp now, so. And these are the jumbo shrimps. Ooh, ooh, y'all. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Them jumbo shrimps. Let me show y'all. See if I can give y'all an illustration. It's like the size of the palm of my hand. You see. Yep. Ain't pretty big now. Now I'm putting my shrimp on top. So, so my shrimp can, you know. That's where all the heat gonna be at. So my shrimp can get done. Ooh, they smell so good with this old bay. Ooh, child, I gotta make room. I got a lot of shrimp. And these jumbo shrimp's pretty big, so. All right, let's go ahead and we gonna have to squeeze these in, child. And one thing I like about the jumbo shrimp, cause you know your, your shrimp always shrink. I don't know why, they just do. But I got the jumbo shrimp and um, the jumbo shrimp usually don't shrink that much. These raw jumbo shrimps that I get, these, they don't usually shrink that much. So, just a little bit, but don't overcook your shrimp. Look at that. Just a, just a layer of shrimp. You can't, look, look. Ooh, just a layer of shrimp. Ooh, 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 ooh. Tuck, tuck that in over there. And then I'm a, I got one more shrimp I got to fit. Okay, we just going to throw you right there, boo. Okay, let's everybody get along. Okay, ooh, that's looking good. Mm-hmm, 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 yep. Let's move this bowl. Wash my hands real quick. Ooh, wee. 
Ooh, we y'all that look good. I think I might zoom y'all in. Oh yeah, I am. I am. Oh, 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 oh. Mm, 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 mm. Well, all right, y'all. Y'all see how quick and easy I did that? Quick and easy. Quick and easy. And while this um in the oven cooking, I'm just gonna melt that butter and pour a little garlic in it. Then I'm gonna pour it across the top, baby. Mm hmm. Mm hmm So, I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then, of course, when I get my butter and garlic together, I'm just going to go ahead and pour it over the top of this. And then I'll put it in the oven. Duh. So, all right, y'all. It's looking good. I'm ready to eat right now. I've been craving this seafood boil all week. So, we finna do it. And like I said, simple, easy, and expensive. So, yeah. All right. And let me give y'all that word of the day. I want to give it to y'all now. The word that has been placed on my heart. What God has been dealing with me about. And God said, if you can help somebody, help somebody. You know, by whether it's, you know, they need a ride to work or whatever it is that they need. If it's somebody you can help, help. Because you know what? We all need help sometimes. We all need help sometimes. So, that's what God been doing with me on. We can help somebody, help somebody. Come on now. You know somebody need help or something. You know if they need something or not. If not, call them up and ask them do they need something. How about that? How about that? How about you call somebody and say, hey, you, you all right? Check in on, check on somebody. How about that? That's the word of the day, y'all. Uh, be a help. Be a help to somebody. All right. So let me get this in the oven, y'all. First, I'll make my... Um, I'm going to go ahead and throw this in the oven first. I'm going to go ahead and throw this in the oven while my butter and garlic melt. Then I'm just going to, you know, pour this over it while it's in the oven. All right, y'all. And I'll be back with the grand finale. Quick and easy. Grand finale. Okay, guys. I'm back. And y'all see the goodness. The goodness of God. Good Lord Almighty. Thank you, God, for these shrimps that were crawling around in the ocean. Lord Jesus, I just want to say a quick prayer and thank God for the shrimp crawling around in the bottom of the ocean, Lord Jesus. Thank you for the shrimp. Ooh-wee! I showed out this time, y'all. I, I, I ain't even going to lie. I got to pat myself on the back. Look at the goodness. Just look at the good. I want to leave y'all right there, but I'm not. I, I got to at least show y'all the whole pan. Let me show y'all the whole pan now. Let me pan y'all across. Hold on. Pan y'all across the whole thing. Let me zoom y'all in. And pan y'all across. Ooh, 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 ooh. Let me zoom y'all in right there, right there, right. Mm, 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 mm. Well. All right, let me continue panning y'all across. Ooh, wee. Won't he do it? Won't he do it? Mm, mm, mm. Well, y'all seen me do it, so you know I did it. This is Arika Misha. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on all my social media at Arika Misha. And don't forget, guys, that knowledge is power. Ooh-wee. Bye.